It was an early morning fire that caused extensive damage to one East Texas school district. The Winsboro community devastated tonight as they look for clues as to why and how. Good evening, I'm Channing Curtis, and thank you so much for joining us for the CBS 19 News at 10. My co-host Aaron Baker has the evening off. Well, as of 2020 was not challenging enough. The Winsboro Independent School District has to change the way it operates after a fire nearly destroyed its historic administrative building. CBS 19's David Lippman shows us what happened and how the district is responding. 100 years of history, five hours of flames. We have quite a mess. The business offices of Winsboro ISD were the most damaged by the fire. The head of payroll was here about half an hour before the fire started on Sunday night, prepping for next year, and told me all the district software and the records in the vault are safe. It's a mess in there right now. They're cleaning it up, and we're trying to figure out what we have and what we lost, and uh, we'll regroup and move on just like we have the rest of this school year. The fire began a little after 9 p.m., and a Winsboro High senior was the one who called 911. 13 fire departments sent 71 firefighters and it took them nearly five hours to stop the burning. Uh, I want to thank all of them. They came out, did a really good job of stopping the fire. That's an old building, a lot of dry wood. Uh, they stopped it before it took the whole building out. Some of the filing cabinets continued to smolder into Monday evening. That'll be the easy part to replace. Harder to get back will be the memories from 105 years, including eight decades as an elementary school. There's a lot of people that even went to school in this building, you know, a long time ago. So it's heartbreaking for some of them to have a loss like this. The administration will move into the high school for now. Workers patched the roof, but it'll be a long time before the smell of charred wood is gone and the district can move back in. But Superintendent Dave Wilcox says his staff will find a way to move on. It's been a crazy year already, but we're going to get it done. We've got you covered, Winsboro. David Lippman, CBS 19. Wilcox said the firefighters believe an electrical problem caused the fire, but they have not reached a final conclusion yet. 